Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Violet. And I'm Ruby. And today we're taking a look at a game called Hand to Hand Wombat. What a good name. Um, no? You don't like it? No? Well, anyhow. This is a game from the folks who made all kinds of party games. Remember the Throw Throw Burrito game? Oh, and Exploding that. Kittens. This is made from the same people who made those games. In this game, you are at the same time reaching into a box, messing with building some blocks, but somebody, somebody is a traitor. Is Maybe. it? Well, let's take a look. At the beginning of the game, you're going to put three spindles in here, and these you have to put together, and unfortunately, they don't stay together in a box. Not a big deal. You just got to push it and pop them in there. So these are going to be in there. Get the third one. Guess I need to rotate it the right direction. Put that in here. And then you have a bunch of pieces. By the way, nice insert. Holds all the pieces pretty easily. So you have the bottom level here, which has six dots on the side, then some five dots, then some three, fourths, threes, twos, and ones. These are all going to be thrown into here like this, and everyone's going to be sitting around the box so that you can get your hands into that box. This game has two teams, the bad wicket wombats against the good wombats. A good team and a bad team. In the basic game, you're going to have one wicket wombat and a bunch of basic wombats equal to the number of players, total number of cards. You'll shuffle them and give them to each player. How do you play the game? Well, your goal is to build the towers. You put a six on the tower, then you put a five, then you put a four, then a three, no, oh, sorry. I just put two fives. A four, a three, a two, and a one piece. Just like the little toys you played with as a kid. Here's the thing. Everyone's going to be doing this with their eyes closed. You're going to cover your hand with one. Um, you're going to cover your eyes with one hand or just close them, whatever. And then your other hand, you're going to be reaching in here and you're going to be doing this as a timer is going. A 90 second timer. You just use your phone or whatever. And everyone is trying to build these towers. You can field them, hand them, you can communicate all you want. But the wicket player doesn't want the towers to be finished. So when a round is over, when 90 seconds are up, you're going to look and see how many towers you've done. If all three towers are finished, the good team gets two points. If two towers are finished, the good team gets one. If two towers are not finished, then the bad guys get one. And if none of the towers are finished, the bad guys get two. Only one team is going to score. The first team to get to three is the winner. So at most, you're going to have three or four rounds. Let me show you real quickly. Um, well, actually, before I show you this, I want to say this. Uh, after a round is over, everybody can vote by pointing at somebody and kick them out of the game completely. They're out of the game. You're not in the game at all anymore. The games are very short, so it doesn't really matter because you think they're the bad player. And then you keep going, and then you see who wins, because eventually one of the two teams will win. So I'm going to show you a real quick clip I recorded of my kids playing this with my wife, although in this clip my wife is not playing because she was just voted out, because she was both an evil wombat and a bad one at that. One, two. I need a two. One, two. Where are the other six? I need a one. Give me the six. No. Where's my tower? I need a one. I need a one. Need You're already done with one tower? One. Yes, I'm fast. Uh, I need a one. Oh, this one already has one. I already have one. Five. Okay. No. Okay, okay. Where are you go? Okay, where are the five? Wait a minute. There's no six here. Where's that Wait, six? There's three fives. We're missing a six. And if you want to up the ante, you can add in some specific wombats where once a brick's on a tower, you can't take it off. You can't put bricks on towers. You can't pick up loose bricks from the box. This is a confused wombat. We'll permanently switch to the bad team when the good team is exactly two points. So they start in a good team, but they could become bad. So you can play with these extra cards in the game. The rule book works pretty well, very easy to understand. There's also a whole little thing here from the oatmeal, the comic that this is based on, and talking about how you, um, their poop is cubes. Um, but it talks a little bit about wombats. So I guess there's that. Now, I want to say one thing about Hand-to-Hand -hand Wombat. I think this is one of the most fun games in the world to watch. 
It is hilarious to watch people yell at each other the whole time <laughs> as they're reaching around in the box. But I want to know, is it fun to play? What do you think? It makes me very angry. <laughs> at who? Everyone else? Yes. <laughs> because I'm like, hand me it. Then I'm offering it, but you guys don't take it. Well, I'm waiting for you to hand it to me. I don't know where your hand is. I'm yelling for you, and you're like... See, I'm this is what happened. You, you weren't the one listening. That's not my fault. Uh, the thing about the fake wombat, um, even if you don't know if they're the fake wombat or not, if you know that they suck, vote them out anyway. <laughs> no, wait. But then you, but then you, let's say there's four people and you vote out a person who's bad, now there's two and a traitor. Now, with the traitor, it's kind of weird. You have to be a little subtle as to how you do it because if you just clearly don't, build the stuff properly or you just take blocks off and someone catches you doing it for any reason or the tower that's closest in front of you has nothing on it um we're gonna throw you out right you were judging my strategy even though it actually worked what strategy yeah, voting out the fake it wombat it doesn't matter because if they mommy suck. is good or bad she kept mixing up stuff on and she uh, was the fake right. wombat. Well, that's the, in the one game, and she wasn't in the other game. Yeah, but she still somehow mixed it up and sabotaged us. Weren't you the fake wombat one time? Yeah, but Holly you blamed were? me for something I didn't even do. Well, <laughs> okay, <laughs> how hard is it to build the towers anyway? Um, actually, not that hard if you double check, but no one was double checking. <laughs> well, I couldn't double check. Plus, we were being timed, so I guess that's a thing. If yeah. we weren't time, we probably wouldn't care. We would just be, like, checking every single little dot. I'm amused by watching it. I'm telling you, this is a great spectator game, and just to watch everyone yell at each other. And, of course, you want to have a group of people who know each other somewhat well. I think this would work well in that, in that regard. The pieces are pretty good quality. It's, like I said, it's just like these children toys from when you're a kid. Like, put the rings on the yeah, yellow Yeah, like thing. a ring toss. Um, so, what is your final thoughts and rating here? Overall, it's fun to play, I guess. Uh, you said it's very fun to watch. I wouldn't know because I didn't watch anyone play it. Uh, maybe seven. Seven? All right, what about you? I thought it was really funny, and it was enjoyable to play. It was also really annoying trying to stack it with everyone else's hands in there and stealing everything. But, like, I really like the game overall, so I guess I'd give it an eight. An eight? All right, I'll also give it a seven like uh, Ruby. Um, I think it's fun. It's interesting. This is uh, a game that goes up to, well, it says three to four players. I suppose you could add more if you want to, but I think I would just switch people in and out. And then you can add in the other roles where you give the wombat. This wombat can't, you know, talk or whatever the things are. That's okay. I think the base game is where it's at. One trader, three good people. It's Really funny. It's a good icebreaker, maybe for parties. I did say earlier, play with people you know well, but it also might be fun to play with people you don't know well. Anyhow, a terrible name, but a fun game. Hand to Hand Wombat. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Violet. And I'm Ruby. Have fun fighting wombats. Also, they do square poop. I learned that from uh, the little book inside here.